In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Like even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me.
Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Jose, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly, I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Turn the goddamn music Mac down. Almost broke. Ew. Baby. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely, I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. 
I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed, then go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Ta-da, I do love a clean room, very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. And nothing here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. I th oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. 
So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth... Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles.
Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Ouch. She left out amnation. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Max, get over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. 
Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well... Good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Man, that's 
smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Thank you, redneck poet. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. 
Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? And there she is, lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. 
I keep going back in time. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Incoming. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What does the hell that mean? Hmm. Some money. 
clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. I'm going to pre
The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use Screw it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. 
Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. <laughs> 